Hey, howdy there again, folks. Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel, coming back at you with another a uh, review off of my sampler platter. Uh, I just got through doing uh, my uh, San, Gel or San Del Grino special, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's why I have the water. If you haven't seen that one, go ahead and give it a shot. Uh, it's, it's good TV, folks. It's not. Nothing about what I do is good. Well, that's okay. Because uh, I've got a phone and a thing, and I buy things. Hooray. <laughs> that's basically the sum of this show that I do. Uh, anyway, folks, so aside from the water, which, by the way, isn't helping that much to get that taste out of my mouth. Mm. But you know what might? Well, folks, we're going to do a... I guess it's a little bit of a special. We're going to do two-part uh, thing here. It's one of my all-time favorite flavors, pineapple stuff. I love pineapple stuff. Pineapple stuff is my favorite. I really do. I absolutely love pineapple. Um, I, I'm, I know I've mentioned that in other uh, reviews where pineapple has come up. Uh, but yes, I got these from 7-Eleven. They are pineapple pieces coated in dark chocolate. Uh, I love 7-Eleven. Um, because they just, they try to find something that's, like, kind of on trend. And to be fair, other establishments do this, too, but I like 7-Eleven's approach to it a lot more, most of the time. Um, uh, because, like, they have things like these. Uh, I've had them, they've had them, you know, probably for a really long time. But, like, they first started showing up when I was still working at the gas station. And they had, like, I think, like, blueberry, uh, and then, like, maybe cranberry or something like that. But it was this same basic thing. But they weren't pineapple. 7-Eleven saw a niche in the market and they're like, pineapple. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, it's from their 7 Select line. It's got a little thing on the back. Indulge in the decadent flavors of fruit and chocolate. 7 Select dark chocolate covered pineapple pieces will excite your taste buds with the exotic sweetness of pineapple. Combined with luscious dark chocolate coating. Nature made it sweet. He made it delicious. Oh, yeah. That, by the way, that voice is proof fucking positive that I do not. I have, there's like, there's no sexiness. Even a little bit. I already look the way that I look. That's no good for that anyway. But I don't even get to have like a cool, like smooth, sexy voice. I can't even force it. I can do some voices and stuff like that. I don't have a smooth and sexy one. But yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm hopeful, folks. Uh, I love pineapple. I like dark chocolate. Um, I don't know how well they're going to mix, but... Because that's the thing with these seven slack things. Sometimes they just throw shit at the wall. And it doesn't always work. But when it does, it's usually really cool and fun. They used to have peach cobbler flavored chips. And they actually tasted like it. Well, bring those back, 7-Eleven. Those were awesome. I don't know how well they sold, but man, those were cool. I love those. Anyway, let's give these a shot. Opens a bag. Opens a bag. Resealable bag. All the bags are resealable now. Remember the, when that was such a cool novelty? Wow, these are... I'll show you in a second. That smells super chocolatey. Like, super duper chocolatey. I can literally, like, for even from here, I'm getting a waft of it. But yes, these are much bigger than the, the... I don't know the name of the company that does, like, the blueberry ones and stuff like that. A little artisanal, but yeah, these, these are some chonky boys right here. Um, they kind of remind me of like chocolate covered uh, peanuts, or like chocolate covered raisins, but bigger. I like chocolate covered raisins, by the way. Some people don't. They're like, why are you wasting the chocolate on, on a raisin? And to those people, I say, to each their own, folks, but don't be ragging on my chocolate covered raisins. That's a good time right there. Anyway, let's give this a shot. Happy Dicks. Um. Hmm. Okay.
Um, ooh. sorry, thing got caught in my tooth. Um, those are really good. Um, very chocolatey. Uh, you do get mostly what the pineapple is adding is sweetness. Uh, you don't get a lot of like the traditional pineapple taste. What it's almost doing is because like obviously dark chocolate tends to be kind of bitter. Um, it's almost like acting like an added sweetener and making it taste something closer to milk chocolate. Um, cause it doesn't taste like hugely dark chocolatey, uh, and it doesn't taste hugely pineapple-y, but it's just kind of this nice chocolate, kind of sweet with a little bit of fruitiness flavor to it. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know as much as I love pineapple if you were to give me these and not tell me anything uh, I don't think I would be able to guess pineapple fruit for sure but it's again it's not a huge pineapple taste but it is good. It's, again, it does its job really well in that, you know, it's the chocolate with the pineapple and everything like that. Uh, and just kind of, you know, sweet little biteable things. Do one more. Just because. Feel the back. Yeah, I mean... I think it's a good pairing. Um, if you did like milk chocolate, it'd be way too sweet, I think. Uh, but with the dark chocolate, it works nicely. And I guess there's a little bit of pineapple flavor there, kind of at the at the very end, uh, once all the chocolates made its way out. Yeah, I like those. Um, I would recommend them if you're at 7-Eleven. Uh, feel free to check them out. Again, if you're if you're like me and you super love uh, pineapple, you know, you might be a little bit disappointed. But I think the fact that it's just an overall good tasting snack will probably weigh that out because it is it does taste good. So uh, good on you, 7-Eleven. Maybe not, maybe not a full home run, but we'll call it a triple. Baseball. Put that up there. Then, the next one, awesome from 7-Eleven, from their 7 Select. Oh, I love the, uh, I love the little graphic. We have pineapple habanero gummy candies. Look, look at that sugar. Oh, man. This is going to be terrible for my teeth. Oh, man. Dennis is going to beat me over the head and take out all my teeth one day. Anyway... Pineapple habanero gummy cane. Naturally and artificially flavored. By the way, white on yellow. Not not great, man, for reading purposes. I got good vision, but Jesus. Oh, sure. The habanero pepper looks harmless enough. Does it? Okay. Small and unassuming. It packs a punch. When Sorry, by the way, I can't really read this because, again, it's the white on the yellow and the light. Uh, it packs a punch when paired with sweet pineapple flavors. It's a match made in heaven. These delight or these delights combine exotic flavors you will love. Get ready for delicious. Sure. I like pineapple. Habanero's fine. It's not my favorite pepper flavor, but it's fine. Uh, I actually really do love uh, like spicy sweet stuff. Uh, one of my favorite. And I'm sure with the, you know, people, blasphemy, uh, one of my favorite pizza combinations, uh, though I haven't had a little while, I was going to say, well, I mean, I'm an adult, I can eat pizza whenever I want. <laughs> one of my favorite uh, pizza combinations um, is pineapple, uh, jalapenos, beef, and bacon. 
So you get sweet, salty, savory, uh, every single bite, spicy as well. So I'm interested to see how this goes. By the way, no resealable package on this. What the hell? Granted, I'm sure it's all just chemicals. So what? you know what? Let's see. Ingredients. Sugar, right off the bat. Glucose syrup, which I think is sugar syrup. Uh, water, that comes in at third. Okay, that's the bronze metal on this. Gelatin, which makes sense. Pectin, yeah, yeah, citric acid, sodium citrate. Artificial and natural flavors, which again, how is that a thing that they could put on there? That means nothing. Let's give this a shot, folks. I'm hopeful. I can't tell if I like that smell or not, which is weird. Because, like, it has sort of like a... You can smell a little bit of sort of like this, uh, you know, the habanero kind of uh, smell. And a little bit of the pineapple smell. But then it also just kind of smells like chemically. I don't eat gummy bears very often. Pretty rare. And definitely not ones that are just super with the sugar. Which I guess is like maybe like the... You know, the freaking... Uh, yeah, hell, I don't know. Give it a shot. It is a very dense gummy bear. Okay. All right. Um, so, yeah, yeah, it's there. Yeah, okay. Um, <clears throat> like I said, very dense, uh, compared to what I, you know, what I would consider, you know, normal gummy bears. Um, but it's good. Uh, it mostly, throughout most of it, it has, like, a pineapple taste to it, uh, with, like, the sweetness and everything, um, and it has that pineapple flavor to it, unlike the, the pineapple thing, the other pineapple thing I just did. Um, and then kind of at the end, you get, like, this little spicy hit, uh, from, you know, the, you know, habanero or whatever, uh, you know, they're using to get that in there. And yeah, pineapple is a very pleasant flavor. Well, that is the right amount. of sweetness and heat. I really do think so. Uh, because it's not, like, gimmicky hot. It's not, like, something you would hand to somebody uh, and be like, oh, try these. <laughs> uh, definitely not that. But it's got that nice little heat at the end. Um, yeah, I mean, I... I'm not super huge on, like, all of the massive amounts of granulated sugar. Um... But, in terms of, like, the actual, what it delivers, in terms of the flavor, uh, it does its job. Like, it's a, it's got that nice, you know, pineapple flavor throughout. And then, like I said, uh, I want to eat this one, but I, I, I'm going to hold off because I know I'll have to chew it for a bit. Yeah, man, those are good. I like those. Um, if, if you like pineapple, which I do, obviously, uh... I would definitely check these out. The like I said, the heat is there. It's not super crazy though, uh, by any means. It's like really just kind of a little bit of a hit at the end. Uh, but it's a nice little uh, added surprise. Not exactly surprise, you know, because you know what you're buying. But but yeah, I'm I'm I dig those. I really do. I think those are very good. Um, in terms of pineappleiness. I, I might prefer those to the uh, the pineapple pieces, the dark chocolate things. But yeah, so 
that's my little pineapple special. I've only got the two things. I thought about looking for other stuff, but this is what they had at the 7-Eleven I was at. So, and the, this was impromptu. This wasn't like I went there specifically. Oh, I'm going to go buy it. It was, I just saw stuff. It was like, oh, okay. Anyway, folks, that's, uh, that's my little pineapple special here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sign off in a minute. And if it could, if you could, before, you know, I do that and everything, do five things for me, uh, go ahead and have yourself a fantabulistic rest of your day, uh, a spend, you know, splendiferous, uh, rest of your week, a tremendobulous, uh, rest of your month, a amazed-tastic rest of your year, and a, can he bring it home, uh, uh, you know what, folks, just have a really fantastic rest of your year, uh, or rest of your life, <laughs> sorry, I messed that one up a little bit, that was, that was me, that was a bunt, that was a bunt on my end, uh, but yeah, folks, and, uh, you know, just do two, uh, extra things for me before, uh, you go over there and sign off, and one, could, just whatever you're doing in your life, uh, whether you're a pineapple fiend like me, or, you know, you're just doing what you're doing, uh, you know, just, uh, try to bring some positivity into the world when you can, and if you can't, don't be too hard on yourself, we can't always do it all the time, uh, if nothing else, just, you know, hey, try not to be an asshole, and sometimes you're gonna be an asshole anyway, sometimes you're not even trying to be an asshole, it's gonna happen, like I said, give it, just, just try not to, that's all I'm saying, and then the other thing, folks, is just do the thing, whatever that thing is for you, you go ahead and you do it, and, uh, I got a bunch of pineapple stuff. Hooray! Bye. Yeah.